Okay, so a few days ago I wanted to install Vi, that's the uh, well-known text editor, command line text editor for Unix and for Linux, but I wanted to install it on Windows. And the easiest way to do that was to use Winget. And I thought to myself, hmm, I actually haven't done a video about Winget and how it is really a useful tool for quickly installing lots and lots of different bits of software on Windows. So in this video, we're going to cover Winget. And we're going to then cover how you search for packages, how you install packages, and how you upgrade packages. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. Okay, so here we are on the command line. This is PowerShell on Windows. This works on Windows 11 and also on later versions of Windows 10. So we're going to be using Winget. So its command is Winget. Now let's say I want to install a package like Thony. That is the uh, Python IDE that you can use for things like the Raspberry Pi uh, Pico, as well as just doing general Python stuff on it. So you do search, I'm looking for something, and then the name of the package, Thony. That will go away and search its repositories, and it's come back and told me that version 4.1.6 is available for install. Now we'll cover installation in a minute, but I wanted to show you something else about search. If I now did winget search, and then something like VLC, the popular media player. Now you can see multiple results have come up and that could be a bit confusing. So a couple of things to note. First of all, over here on the source, you can have a version that comes from the Microsoft Store. That's that GUI that you get. You can click on and, and navigate through or you can get one for, directly from the WinGet repository. Now, another thing to note is that you can actually get some details from them. So if I now do WinGet show, and then what you do is you pick this ID here, because obviously VLC as a word has brought up multiple results. So if I now say show, then this is going to give me the details from the, the uh, Microsoft Store about VLC. So this could be a good one to install. It's given me all the details here, licensing and all that. And you can see it's coming video LAN client. It's coming from the from the store. Now I can also have a look if we go back and do this search. I can also have a look from the version from the uh, winget. So that's this ID here. So I would do winget show and then that ID and that shows me the version that comes from uh, winget itself, the winget repository. And it gives you here again, it's from the video land client. Now also notice here at the bottom, it's got installer URL. So we can see it's not getting it from the Microsoft store. It's actually getting it directly from video LAN. So for many of the packages, third party packages from uh, winget, is it actually knows where to get it from. So it doesn't have a local copy or go, okay, I'll go and download this from the uh, video LAN website or wherever the third parties and install that version. So Microsoft store version or the version directly from the third party. So let's talk about install. Well, I'm gonna, I've got VLC already installed. So let's look for BTOP. And I did a video uh, on BTOP uh, a week or so ago, and you can get it for Windows here. So there we can say BTOP for win. So I could do a win get show and then this ID here. So I can get that coming up and it's gonna show me all about that resource monitor. Now to install something, whether that's Fonny, whether that's VLC, whatever it is you're installing, it's always the same thing. You just say win get install and then the name of the thing. In this case, I'm going to give it that ID to make sure there's no confusion. And this will go away, connect to its repository uh, and download it or connect to where it knows you can get it from. So in this case, you can see it's downloading it directly from that GitHub uh, repository. And so it said that it's been installed and you need to restart your shell. So let me just restart the shell uh, and then we can carry on. OK, I've restarted the shell. And so I can run this now with uh, btop for win and up it comes and that is exactly the same as it is on for example on mac os or on linux i won't cover what's going on here because i cover that in that other video but you see i looked for a tool and i've installed it just a couple of cards didn't need to go searching on google didn't need to go find the website didn't need to download a zip file then unzip it and then double click on the icon to install it uh, I just did it all there from inside Winget. Now the final part after searching and installing is upgrading because obviously new versions of VLC or BTOP or whatever it is that you're using, Thony, uh, you know, all the different packages that are available, they get released and you want to upgrade them. So what you do is you type Winget upgrade. 
Okay, and that will list all the packages that you've got installed that can be upgraded, really, really convenient. So here's a whole uh, big long list of them showing all the different versions that can be upgraded. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade Cursor. I was just looking down that list there, the Rust Desk, I haven't done a video on Rust Desk, great for remote desktop sharing across you know, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. If you'd like a video about that, do let me know. Let's go ahead and upgrade uh, Cursor. So it's win, uh, get, upgrade and then uh, cursor and of cursor of course is the uh, editor the ide that comes with ai coding assistance so i'm going to go ahead and uh, upgrade that and as before it says okay i'm going to download that it's downloading it from uh, the place that it knows it should download it from and then it will perform the upgrade for you so a really easy way for searching for software installing that software and keeping it up to date uh, just from the command line without having to go off to 50 different websites and you know is there a new version of that is there a new version of that you can do it all here from the command line so really really easy okay so there you go winget now there are some alternatives to winget out there love to know your thoughts in the comments below do you use winget would you like a video on some of the alternatives uh, do you enjoy using it just let me know what you think okay that's it my name is gary sims this is gary explains i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos, why not stick around by subscribing to the channel? Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.